Burhai, it's uh, about 8.30 in the morning. We've just uh, got up and uh, having our first cup of tea. Last night, not great, not bad. Um, it's Thursday, so um, that's always a bit of a weird day because we're looking forward, I say looking forward, but we're anticipating tomorrow, Friday, which is uh, our, one of our work days. Um, something that we sort of we sort of like doing but sort of don't you know you never look forward to like a Monday morning do you well Friday afternoon is our Monday morning <coughs> but um, you know as you can see in the background here let me just step out of the way so it'll, it'll pick up focus I hope yeah you'll see um, the site is completely empty there's one caravan uh, just there um, but that's actually our manager's caravan um, <laughs> so so there's not much I think we've got uh, maybe about 15 people coming in to the site for the weekend not too bad better than last weekend uh, where it was a Friday afternoon or a Friday where we had uh, about 70 people absolutely manic and really busy um, quite enjoyed it but very tiring I I think on Friday last week I walked uh, just over six miles um, just showing people to their pitches um, getting them all set up so that's enough about tomorrow um, today it's a beautiful clear blue sky um, I've not had a shower yet as you can tell by my crazy bed hair um, <laughs> It needs it needs a good sorting out. Um, but I'm going to have a cup of tea, have a shower. Um, I've got to phone up uh, Halfords uh, to get the car booked in for a service because the brake pad light came on yesterday. Um, that's not great. Um, that's our day. I've got to book the car in for a service. Um, that's going to be uh, in I think it's Halfords in Runcorn. Um, so that'll be next week. I've got to uh, work this weekend. Um, it's it's actually a really, really nice time. I'm really happy um, to be out in this beautiful countryside and looking around at all of this. Anyway, that's where we are. Uh, and that's, um, that's the first bit uh, of our daily vlog done. Uh, so here we are, um, <laughs> I've had a shower and I'm on to my uh, second cup of tea which is uh, nicely steaming away here. Um, <laughs> I'm just um, thinking about what we watched on TV last night. Now it wasn't much, we watched the one show which was sort of in and out and I was sort of looking, looking at the uh, internet a bit as well. So. Um, then we had a, a big long conversation with um, my sisters, uh, Margaret and Gillian, who we had on a conference call on Skype. Skype is um, very good, it works really well. Uh, then uh, dinner was ready, so uh, that was about, I suppose, ten past, ten past quarter past eight, maybe half past eight, I'm not sure. Um, I, I had a pizza uh, which we bought from Morrison's. Um, it was very nice, quite spicy and meaty, so very good. And Wendy had some. I can't remember what they were, what was in them. So, um, oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, a sag alu pasty, um, which is, um, I, I think, um, potato and spinach, something like that. Um, they they seemed to be very nice, and we had some. Wendy had some vegetables to go with that, and I just had the pizza, and uh, two or three glasses of wine. Very nice. So that's while we while we were eating that, we were watching Master Chef. Uh, quite enjoy Master Chef, and uh, you know they're getting through to the sort of final rounds now. So it's competition is hotting up, um, and those that really are very good tend to stand out um, uh, then, then that was yeah that, so that was the end of uh, MasterChef and then sort of searching through for something else to watch and we found 
uh, can't pay will take it away and you know I I'm never sure about these sort of bailiff people I'm, I'm sort of I understand that you know people have to pay their bills and you know they, they get into trouble so you, you've so, sort of got to go and you know some people just don't want to pay but others are truly in desperate straits and I you know and I always think these bailiffs are like well I'm just doing my job and it's I don't know there seems something slightly morally lacking in these people I you know I, it just it just is one of those one of those situations you know I don't have an answer of how to make people pay their bills I don't know maybe not make credit so easy to get you know um, it, it's very difficult um, so that was that and then it it sort of seemed to be about bedtime we were, you know we're both very tired um, because we don't sleep well I said said yesterday that we don't sleep that well um, so we're trying to do something about that uh, maybe you know I'm I'm sort of thinking about um, sort of yoga meditation mindfulness that sort of stuff to help me sort of really relax I, I'm pretty relaxed and um, I don't, I don't get upset too much, but I do, I do need to relax, and I, you know, I want to get Wendy to do that with me, um, and relax through as well. So, um, not sure what we're going to do about those things, um, but there we are. Oh, I booked the car in for a service at Halfords in Runcorn. Um, shockingly high price. Uh, although I think it's sort of standard, it's 260, 265 quid for a quote major service, uh, which includes all the brake check, and then if it needs the brakes, uh, which it does, uh, it's going to be another 230 pounds. So that's going to be almost 500 quid for a service with brakes. That's, uh, that's it for this section of the video. Um, coming up uh, in the next is, I guess we'll show you what the rest of the day was like and what we're having for dinner, uh, uh, evening meal. See you then. Hi, uh, we're out for a little country walk. It's such a lovely warm day that um, We've been out for what, about half an hour? Um, half an hour, 40 minutes maybe? Yes, I think so. Yeah, so um, Pippin's got tired and very hot and we didn't realise it was going to be so warm. We didn't bring any water or any other things with us. So um, we're thirsty, she's thirsty and she's very hot and that's why she's not walking, I'm carrying. Well, it's getting towards the end of the day, so I thought I'd give you a bit more of an update and uh, finish off this first of our daily vlogs, um, <laughs> the third time of trying a daily vlog. Um, let's hope it can continue. Um, we, I've just been asking Wendy about what we're going to have for tea, um, and it seems to be a bit of a secret at the moment, I don't know why but uh, maybe she's not decided yet. But what I've been doing uh, for the afternoon is I've been thinking more about our um, future life in a boat and how we're gonna travel around and how we're gonna um, generate our electricity needs. So more thinking about solar panels. Since the last time I looked, I think they're sort of improving it's just getting better all the time. Well, I can buy a complete off-grid pack uh, that will generate like a kilowatt of power for about 1,500 quid, which I think is, is pretty good. So I started to look around at other things like uh, sort of single solar panels and so on. One I spotted for 170 quid was a 260 watt 
solar panel all by itself 170 pounds so you've got to buy all the other bits and pieces like the cabling and the charge controller and so on um, but I thought that was pretty good uh, and that's a, a British made um, uh, monocrystalline panel which I believe although you know, I'm no expert I believe the monocrystalline panels are more efficient than the polycrystalline um, I don't know whether they are or not I, I just remember reading it somewhere that you're better off to go with monocrystalline rather than polycrystalline anyway I've been doing a lot of um, uh, sort of research on that and I think while we're while we're set up here and we've got sort of time um, we're not under pressure to run completely on solar I think I might I might start to maybe get a solar panel and a charge controller and install it um, and then unplug from the electricity supply here and see how you know see how we go um, just to get some real life usage always knowing of course that I can plug straight back into the electric when it all trips out so um, no pressure on me to, to actually make it work in a real life environment that we rely on anyway so I've been looking at that I've also been sort of making a bit of progress on my uh, camera slider I bought some bits um, I've got some uh, I bought a whole big sheet of uh, six six mil MDF. Um, here it is. Uh, well, this isn't the big sheet. This is just one of the end panels. Um, I've also bought the. Uh, let me get those. These bits of board sort of bolt onto the end of there, like so, and the sort of little rollers. Um, that I've bought these these ones are um, too small but you get the idea that that will actually roll along the tube like that but there'll be sort of four of those I'm, I'm assembling all the bits first and then um, then I'm gonna uh, just go through the build and explain how that's done but uh, there we go. Um, it's what time is it now? It's about six o'clock in the evening, so um, I'll be getting ready to have uh, a little beer now. Uh, it's been a really hot day. You might notice that uh, my face is a bit red, um, apart from, apart from uh, the research on solar panels. Uh, it's a great day to do it. It's really sunny. Apart from the research on solar panels and on buying extra bits for my uh, camera slider, I did have about an hour um, just in the sun lounger right out there with the sun sort of coming. The sun comes from there, it's over that way at the moment, but it was coming all the way across there, across the front of the caravan actually, it comes uh, pretty much all day. So uh, I was sat out there for about an hour, um, having a little snooze and not doing much, just sort of taking time out for myself and relaxing, which you know we all need to do from time to time. Um, great if you can. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, I'll see you again tomorrow.